I have a classic recipe for you today. This is perfect all year long, but I especially love making these as, at the holidays. Classic shortbread, buttery, flaky, crunchy, so delicious. You're not gonna wanna miss it. Hey everyone, it's Dorothy with crazyforecrust.com and welcome back to my kitchen. Um, shortbread is one of my favorites. It's so versatile um, and it's such a great way to make a classic cookie. Tons of butter and sugar. This is such a simple recipe. I know you're gonna love it. For more delicious desserts and easy recipes, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Now let's get in the kitchen. We start off the recipe with one and a half cups of unsalted butter and a cup of powdered sugar that's been softened. Mix that together until it's nice and fluffy and then add a teaspoon of vanilla, a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, and three cups of all-purpose flour. Then you're just gonna run your mixer until this all comes together in a nice cookie dough. Use a hand or a stand mixer for this. Then I press out my um, cookie dough into a rectangle. Um, I like to cover it with two sheets of parchment paper, on one on either side, and roll it into a nice long rectangle. You're gonna chill this for um, at least an hour, but overnight is better, the longer the better. And then you can use a cookie cutter for this, or I'm just cutting these into squares or rectangles, so go ahead and cut that. I'm using a pizza cutter for this. I like to decorate these by um, pricking them with the tines of a fork, and then you're gonna bake these at 350 for about 14 to 18 minutes. These are such a simple cookie. They're buttery and rich. Um, you can see kind of how they're a little bit crumbly and a little bit crunchy with a little bit of soft inside. Um, I absolutely love these. You can eat them plain. You can make, frost them, dip them in chocolate. You can make them into cookie sandwiches. So many ways to serve these. Leave me a comment, let me know how you're gonna serve them and keep watching for even more cookie recipes.